Good afternoon guys My name is David Welcome back to my channel Today I'm going to talk about KH Yeah Why KH is important to our aquarium Well KH actually prevent the acid from causing the pH in our aquarium to swing yeah? because if there's a rapid changes in the pH that can shock and even kill our livestock and fish in our tank so this is something that we want to avoid actually our aquarium is constantly producing acids yeah? the fish pools breaks down into ammonia and then the beneficial bacteria in our filter yeah, will turn the ammonia into nitrite and then finally into nitrate yeah. nitrite and nitrate are very acidic yeah, and because they are constantly being produced the pH of our aquarium will decrease over time yeah. so guys if our pH is low or non-existent then nothing can neutralize this acid this will lead to unsafe drop in the pH that can make the water toxic for our fish and corals actually the KH is a, the invisible superhero in the tank yeah we will stop the ph from swinging therefore it is important to maintain some level of ph in our tank yeah in salt water tank ph serve a second purpose yeah cause the corals use carbonate to build their exoskeletons so it is important to watch that KH if we are creating a reef tank. So guys, how to boost the KH? One way of boosting the KH is by using crushed corals. Yeah? Because crushed, co crushed coral is high in calcium carbonate and crushed coral can help to boost the tank KH. If let's say the cash is high, how are we going to lower down the KH? One way is by using RO or DI water that will reduce the KH proportionately to how much we mix in. Yeah? So in conclusion, for beginners, KH is one of the most overlooked and least understood element of aquarium chemistry. But no need to worry guys because now you know everything there is to know about it. Yeah? KH plays an important role in keeping your water parameters stable. Now I will show you how to test your KH. Okay guys, so this is the test kit which I'm going to use to check my KH in my aquarium yep let's do it guys hello guys so the instruction here is to get 3 ml of water from the aquarium and put into the test tube yeah then after that we have to put three drops of the AKH yeah then after that we will have to slowly put the BKH into the test tube until the color change to bright pink yeah then we will stop then after that from there we will know what is the KH volume okay so we'll do it now okay guys I already took the water sample from my aquarium that is a 3ml 
then I will put it into this test tube. Yeah. So this is the AKH. Okay, we will put three drops. One, two, three. Okay. Let me check it. Yeah. Now, for that, we have to use the BKH. Yeah. Here, I already took one ml of the BKH. Okay. Yeah. And slowly put it inside here. Until it turns into bright pink color, then we will stop here, guys. Okay, the color is slowly changing now. Okay, it's already becoming pink color. Okay. We'll put another drop. Yep. That's where we want it. Okay. Now, from here we can know what is the reading. Okay. What is what will be the reading of our KH? Okay. As for my tank. Okay. This is a 0 0.43, okay? It's not so clear, yeah? And 0 0.43, okay? So in the chart here, okay? Best result for your corals, yeah? I'll show you, huh? okay? For a while. See guys, yeah, best result for your corals, yeah? 0 0.42 to 0 0.54. Yeah, as for my measurement, for my tank is 0 0.44. So, it is still in between the range of, uh, the ideal range for my corals, yeah, my KH volume. So guys, that's how we measure the KH of our aquarium. Yeah? So I hope the way I guide you will benefit you. Yeah? Don't worry, we will learn. Okay? So if you like my video guys, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Yeah, so you will, once I have upload my new video, you will have the chance to watch it. Yeah, until then, bye bye, see you.